about what's the stupidest thing you've ever done on your holidays, right? I've, I've retired it. I've almost entirely rested it because it was won. It was won in January by one bloke from Killarney, right? Just nailed it, right? Now we just asked to set the bar, right? Simple thing, all I want is the first line, what's the stupidest thing you've ever done on your holidays? <laughs> Went to the wrong place, loving that. What was that that just occurred there? Went to the wrong place again. What did you step on with their shout? The man with the shout? Married your wife. Married your wife. Oh. <laughs> the thing is, up there, there's a woman going, Oh, did you get a big laugh? Did you like that? That was funny, what's this? <laughs> oh, did you get a big laugh off them, right? Oh, why don't you go home and go to bed with them? Because you're not fucking going home to bed to me right now. <laughs> Went to the wrong place, married my wife. They're all fine. Any more? <laughs> Whatever that was. more like a political speech uh, than it was. <laughs> Put my head up on the head! Surprised you didn't all rise up and do whatever it was you want. Hey, but I don't know, on! <laughs> see, they're all fine, but you see, they're all grand. They could have, have, they could have occurred anywhere, right? Okay, grand. You went to the wrong place, grand. That did occur in the wrong place. You married the wife, could have married the wife. You, who the fuck? Could have happened anywhere. I went out in Killarney and said, what's the stupidest thing you've ever done on your holiday? And one bloke goes, I kicked an armadillo. <laughs> That is epic, my friend. I said, why did you do that? And said, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. He just walked out in front of me. I didn't know what the fuck to do. <laughs> he was on like a jungle trek, like a guided tour of the wildlife with a local guide showing him in a kind of a, and this is the nest of the such and such. And you can see the tracks there. And, and occasionally those birds will find their fruit there and they'll bring it down, all this kind of stuff. And in the background, he's standing next to a bush and an armadillo walks out and he just goes, oh, fuck, and just, Hoofs it. <laughs> Properly. Boof. <laughs> Hardly got his leg underneath it with the, with the instep. Lifted it. <laughs> lifted it over a tree. Said that, see, I don't know what I find more exciting about that. The face of the local guide going, don't kick the fucking wildlife. <laughs> or of the armadillo going, this is a bad day for me. <laughs> Apropos of nothing, stupidest thing I've ever done on my holidays was in Bondi Beach in Australia. I was there, I was looking at the surfers go fizz, fizz, fizz up and down, standing on the boards, comfortable, looking very, and I went, I can do that, I can do that. I went to the board, rental area, rented the largest board they had, ran to the water with the music from Hawaii Five-O playing in my head. <laughs> ran to the water, it's amazing the minute you hit the water, it instantly goes from surfboard to bar of soap. Slump out of your hand. <laughs> And then there's an interesting moment of tension, because when they rent you a surfboard, they strap it to your leg. So it goes, and then you go as well. Drags you out of the water, you're hoping nobody spotted you, run back in again. Every time I tried, thump, gone. Then thump, again. Just 20 minutes of watching this thing disappear off and yank me with it, right? Now that sounds as if it's just embarrassing, but no, it's actually painful because the underside of a surfboard has three bloody razor blades stuck onto it. They're meant as guides or something, but the bloody keeps cutting across your thigh every time it shoots out of your hand. And you've got all these scratches and nicks and dinks. After 20 minutes, I looked like some weird emo chick just into the water, all these tiny little cuts. I was bleeding into the waters off Australia. <laughs> and luring sharks into Bondi Beach, right? But I kept trying. And once I just ran into the water, I caught a wave coming at me, right? Just about shoulder height. Very important in that situation. Surfing 101. Very important. When that happens, lift the board over the wave. Or break the wave with the pointy end of the board. Don't do what I did. Which is hold the board up flat towards the apartment. <laughs> in an effort to somehow deflect the Southern Ocean away from myself. I managed to harness the entire gravitational pull of the moon. <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> oh, God, right? Now there's a man looking at me and laughing. <laughs> He's standing there in his trunks, laughing at me. And I go, I'm going to do this, right? Ran into the water and jumped on, leapt onto the board as if to mount it, like a rodeo thing. I went, I've got, I've got you now, I've got you. Oh, Jesus, you're not as buoyant as you let on. I mean, I was 
I ended up forcing it down and wedging myself on the sand with the waves just lapping in and out around me. <laughs> I'm just staring at the other surface going, how are you lads? Yeah, good day, good day in the water, isn't it? <laughs> a couple of great breakers out there, aren't they? Fantastic. I think I'm going to break myself at the moment because I'm weak with the blood loss. But nonetheless. <laughs> But I always wanted, I had to walk past your man. I picked up the board. I walked past the man who was in tears laughing at me at this thing, right? And I walked past the man and I vividly remember, it's a completely true story. I walked past your man and just kind of went, oh. And your man looks at me and in the thickest accent I have ever heard in my life just goes, ah, Jesus, Dara, we Irish are shite at surfing. 